How is it going guys? It has been almost 2 or 3 months since I made my last video on Euro coins. So today decided to show you our 20 Euro cents circulated and some of them at mint state on the backdrop of full pile of Euro coins. So with no further ado, hit subscribe button below this video and let's get started. Before examining all the coins that I will display one by one, let me give you brief but necessary information about 20 Euro cents shared by all member states of Eurozone. The 20 euro cent coin has a value of one fifth of an euro and is composed of an alloy called Nordic gold in Spanish flower shape. Nordic gold, as I mentioned in most euro videos, actually do not contain even the slightest amount of gold. All 20 euro cents have common reverse side and country specific national sides. Diameter is 22.25 millimeters and weight is 5.74 grams. First coin I'm holding is 20 year old 20 euro cent from Portugal at, at mint condition. Overs of a coin depicts the second royal seal of 1142 of Alfonso Henriquez, the first king of Portugal, which is encircled by alternately the country's seven castles and the five coats of arms. Riverside features a standard European map design, shared by euro cent coins from EU. Coin displays excellent strike and preservation state. We even see slight cartful effect on these gold-like surfaces, no mentionable contact marks on either device elements or on fields. In 2002, more than 147 million Portuguese 20 euro cents were made, so they were common even at lower uncirculated grades, according to NGC price guide even at mid day 65. They are worth just $1.50. This one inside holder is brilliant uncirculated example like let mean stage 64 or 65. 2002 20 euro cent from Greece. Superb gem with immaculate surfaces and potent golden luster. Blemish and spot free coin depicting Greek politician and diplomat Johannes Kapodistria facing the viewer. Just few mediocre contact marks would prevent this coin from the finer grade. According to NGC price guide at mid 65, these coins are worth over $1.50. Here is 1999 20 euro cent from Finland. This one is devoid of original mint luster as, as previous one, but fields of obverse display clean surfaces with burnt orange rosewood hues. Central relief depicts a Finnish heraldic lion which is encircled by 12 stars of Europe. At mid stage 65 these coins are worth over two dollars. Moving on to this 2009 20 euro cent from Belgium. Coin is no doubt that circulated condition, extremely fine I may say. Surfaces display just several mentionable contact marks and wispy ticks on focal areas of adverse relief. By the way, the man facing left is King Albert II from Belgium. In 2009, Belgium produced over 30 million examples of this particular coin, so at mid stage 65, it's worth just $1.80 as for NGC price guide. Another mid state euro cent with potent luster, reflectivity of this coin is outstanding, just look at this pleasant cartful effect. 2015 20 euro cent from Republic of France. Crisply struck example featuring surfaces close to perfection on obverse. It depicts a modern adaptation of Sower Woman, representing French devotion to national roots, and at the same time integration into Europe. Appealing of reverse is not that charming as of verse, but yet we see cartwheel effect here as well. Burnt orange explosions grace the surfaces around denomination. Let's see what else we have here. This one bears evident signs of circulation. 
contact marks, rubs, and some stains around reliefs. Also range 20 Eurocent, but this one is from the very first strike, year of 1999. But device elements are sharply struck and large distraction is not detected on either side. Here is another circulated specimen 2003 20 Eurocent from Germany featuring the famous Brandenburg Gate on a verse. The symbol of division of Germany and its subsequent unification with the 12 stars of Europe around the rim. The mint mark F below the date stands for Stadtische Münze Bade, Württemberg mint of Stuttgart, which struck over 82 million 20 euro cents that year. Strike is overall sharp, but due to circulation, the tiniest motifs of device are slightly worn on higher points. Reverse sight has very unpleasant appealing due to stains all around the reliefs. This issue at Miss Day 65 is worth just a dollar and fifty cents. This one is also from Belgium but minted in 2005. Here we have several deep goads on facial part of Royal Bust accompanied with light wear. Reverse surfaces show vivid traces of over circulation. Now this issue is a neatly preserved circulated example of German 20 Eurocent, which was issued in 2013, also in Stuttgart. Strong traces of original luster is evident on obverse side. Strike is bold. Yet another Belgium Eurocent, also from 2009, but with less reflectivity and more contact marks as compared to one I showed you initially. Beautifully preserved specimen at lower mean state, obverse, as a wonderful design with enhanced relief motifs depicting the Belvedere Palace, one of the most beautiful Baroque palaces in Austria. Surfaces radiate vibrant mid luster, and no large distraction is evident on either side. Circulated 20 Eurocent from Spain, the first year strike, 1999, issue featuring Miguel de Cervantes, one of the greatest writers of all times. This specimen had seen too many pockets or cash registers. High points of device elements are lightly worn and reliefs are surrounded with dark hues. This issue is worth just around $1 even at mid-state 65. Another Brandenburg Gate, meaning German 20 euro cent. It was minted in 2003, and the mint mark A means it was struck in Berlin. Overall coin is at very fine condition. This one is definitely at mid state, at least MS60, as far as I can tell. 2016 20 Eurocent from Italy with very bizarre bargain this spot at 2 o'clock. Strike is tech sharp and brilliant. It depicts futuristic sculpture by Umberto Boccioni, titled Unique Forms in Continuity of Space.
These two are also above average circulated examples from Italy and France. French coin is from the very first series. Italian 20 euro cent though was issued in 2002. Here is another 1999 20 euro cent from Spain. If you remember, the previous one had less reflective surfaces as compared to this one, and distractions are almost minimal. Coin is at about uncirculated condition. Thanks for watching, guys. If you liked the video, hit thumbs up below this video to help us reach more viewers. See you in the next episode.